Hi, this is Sasa from The Analyzer. Welcome back. This channel, we share tips and tricks to help you build better reports in Looker Studio. In today's tutorial, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of Scorecard once again. There are so many exciting features nowadays with Scorecard in Looker Studio and you don't want to miss it. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover three practical use cases of Scorecard chart in Looker Studio that every business is going to need them and we're going to show you how to create them in Looker Studio. If you have watched our previous video on creating progress bar in scorecards, you already know how powerful and visual appealing the scorecards can be. So now let's take a step further by exploring the best possible ways of visualizing the metrics and KPIs in your business. Our first example is regarding measuring progress towards target using a scorecard. This is super useful because you can compare your metric against the target that you have set so that you can easily access whether you're on track or off track towards the target. So businesses can take action if let's say they are behind of the goals and they can adjust the budget to allocate to the ads to increase the sales or they can increase the marketing efforts to bring in more sales and so on. This is a must have if you, you want to measure actual versus target. And here I have some of the scorecards that you can create by using just the scorecard in Looker Studio. As mentioned, we have already covered every detail that you have to know to create all these scorecards that I've shown on the screen now. I would suggest you to watch back the previous video that I've posted on my YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. So let's move on to the second one. Besides measuring the target versus actual, we can also use scorecards to show the growth over a period of time. This allows businesses to analyze the performance by comparing it to the previous period so that we can have more context on the number shown on the scorecard. For example, if we show 100k on the scorecard, it just means that we have generated 100k sales. But if we compare to the previous year, it's actually 100% increase. That means we are doing really well with the sales this year as compared to last year. So this is the importance of showing the growth rate in along with the metric. Now I'm going to show you how to add that growth rate to your scorecard. Now we're going to add a scorecard to the canvas. Now click the chart and in the property panel under the default date range, look for the comparison date range and here we have a drop down selection which is none. We're going to click on this and in the calendar, in the calendar we're going to select this default comparison period and change it to previous period and click apply. Next, we're going to add a date range control so that we can have the comparison metric shown here. So I'm going to group them together so that Whatever I select here doesn't affect other charts in this page. So here I'm going to select um, because the data here consists of 2021 up to 2022. I think I will just select 2022 January and up until 2022 from from the 1st Jan to the 31st Jan. I'm going to click apply and now we're going to see the comparison matrix which is a growth rate being generated here. So this is comparing to the previous period which is 31 days prior to 1st Jan. You can, also, you can also change the comparison period from the previous period to previous year. If you want to um, calculate the year over year changes, 
you can choose previous year but for the sake of this example because i just have one year worth of data here so i couldn't show you the calculation if i were to select the previous year option so that's about the second example for growth rate now we have come to the last use case which is also a new feature launched by Looker Studio recently. Remember previously, if you want to show a trend line underneath a scorecard metric, you will have to use two charts. One is a scorecard and then one is the spark line. And then we'll have to add a shape behind them to make them look like a single scorecard. Now we don't have to do that because it's already inbuilt in the scorecard chart that we can now add the trend line to the scorecard by using a few clicks. Let me show you how it looks like. You can see that on the screen now I have a scorecard and this scorecard consists of a metric and a trend line at the bottom. So you, by looking at this scorecard and the trend line, you can identify the trends over a period of time. By showing the trend line along with the metric, you can know or identify the patterns, seasonality, and trends over a period of time. Now let's dive into Looker Studio and learn how to create a scorecard with a spark line. Now similar to what we did earlier, just drag and drop a matrix to create the scorecard chart. And then we're going to select a date for example, we're going to use a sales state and drag and drop it into the spark line section here. And now you can see that there is a spark line being generated underneath the main metric. And now I'm going to just extend the box a little bit so that it could fit the trend line inside the box. And you can also drag it um down more so that the trend line is more obvious other than this style you can also create another style of the spark line for example i just made a copy so that i can show you the comparison between them click on the chart and go to style and under the spark line here select the fill option it's going to color the area underneath the line um, and so you can see that it's now colored in gray unfortunately we can't edit this color because that's what um Looker studio is going to select based on the line color that we have defined here so if you want to change the color you can test it with other other colors for example if you do it in red it's going to have like the light very light red if it's green then it's going to be in this color and you can play around with it and choose the best color for your chart now that brings us to the end of this tutorial on discovering the best way to use scorecards in Looker studio we have learned to create different types of scorecard charts in Looker studio for different use cases and we also understand when to use them and why and why they are important i hope you manage to apply this to your scorecards and bring your dashboard to the next level if you find today's tutorial helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that this video can reach more people like you and our channel can continue to provide more insightful content like this so thank you very much for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.